Well, good morning, year one. So, all those videos you sent me yesterday of these dogs and the feelings really got me thinking about something. Got me thinking about what I do when I have some feelings. And a way I do is I write a diary. So, I thought today I'd share with you my diary. So, this is my diary. It says my diary and it's got all the things I like. It's got some motorcycle racing, his guy Martin, he's one of my favourite motorcycle racers. So what I thought I'd do today is I'd share with you some of my diaries that I've written and I've got a special challenge for you after. Dear Diary, today I made the oddest discovery. I went into my fridge to get my milk for my cornflakes and I saw the largest egg I have ever seen. It was white with bright green spots and it was double the size of a normal egg. I was so surprised I had to make a video to show the children in year one about it. I really hope it doesn't hatch because I have no idea what could be inside. When I got to school, the children helped me to predict what was inside. They had the greatest predictions. I am so glad the children could help me because I was so worried about it. They made me feel much better. Speak to you tomorrow, Miss Duffield. Tuesday the 19th of January 2021. Dear Diary, while well, the mystery continues, Today, I got the strangest letter. It said, to year one, not me. Inside, the letter was a challenge of designing an egg and it was signed, your mystery friend. I have no idea who could have sent it. I have looked for clues in the letter, but it didn't give me any. The children in year one did an amazing job of designing eggs and they made me smile from ear to ear. I am wondering what tomorrow will bring, as every day it is getting weirder and weirder. Well, it's getting late now, so I'll let you know what happens, Miss Duffield. Thursday the 21st of January 2021. Dear Diary, I was so excited as I got a present today. It was wrapped in bright pink paper with unicorns and cupcakes on it. I couldn't wait to tell the children about it. In the present was a book called The Odd Egg by Emily Gravitt. When I read the book, I finally found out who my mystery friend was. It was a duck. The book told the story of her finding a mystery egg, just like I did. In her story, the egg hatched at the end and out came a crocodile. I'm a bit nervous that a crocodile will come out of mine. Speak to you tomorrow, Miss Duffield. Let's now look at some of the features I can see in my diary. You can see on every diary, there's a date at the top. You can see it here in red. All of my diary entries start with the words, Dear Diary. And I use the word I a lot because I'm talking about my experiences. So I'm saying I. I've talked a lot about my feelings in my diary, like in this word like surprised or worried, because we'd often talk to a diary a bit like it's a friend. I've also had a lots of describing words like oddest, largest, white, bright, green, double, because it gives some extra information. So now you've heard my diary, I've got a special challenge for you. I've got five questions I want you to answer. So you could choose to watch the video again to listen or on the next slide I've put the diary entries for you to look at as well. I've got those five questions and they're all about what happened on the three days I've told you about. Can you answer them all?